Speaking to the nation in a rare address from the Oval Office on the threat of terrorism, U.S. President Barack Obama reiterated his pledge to wipe out the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and any other terrorist organization that threatens to harm America and its people. The threat from terrorism is real, but we will overcome it. We will destroy ISIL and any other organization that tries to harm us. Our success won't depend on tough talk or abandoning our values or giving in to fear. That's what groups like ISIL are hoping for. Instead, will prevail by being strong and smart, resilient and relentless, Obama said. Laying out his plans to overcome the ISIS, the president said that the U.S. military will continue to hunt down terrorists in any country where it is necessary, including Iraq and Syria, where ISIS leaders and their lairs are being taken out in continuous airstrikes. He also praised closest allies France, Germany and the United Kingdom who have ramped up their contributions since the 1311 Paris carnage to the US military campaign against ISIS. Talking about the coalition against ISIS, he added that America and its allies are also working hard to disrupt the terrorist outfit's plots by cutting off their financing and preventing them from recruiting more fighters. Since the attacks in Paris, we have surged most intelligence sharing with our European allies. We are working with Turkey to seal its border with Syria and we are cooperating with Muslim majority countries and with our Muslim communities here at home to counter the vicious ideology that ISIL promotes online, Obama said. Speaking on the recent San Bernardino shootings where 14 Americans were killed, Obama branded the incident as an act of terrorism designed to kill innocent people and said that terrorist threat has evolved into a new phase. However, the president reminded the nation to not turn against one another by branding the fight as between America and Islam since that was what ISIS wanted and also asserted that a terror outfit in no way represented Islam. ISIL are thugs and killers, part of a cult of death, and they account for a tiny fraction of a more than a billion Muslims around the world. Moreover, the vast majority of terrorist victims around the world are Muslim. If we are to succeed in defeating terrorism, we must enlist Muslim communities as some of our strongest allies rather than push them away through suspicion and hate, Obama said. Concluding his address, Obama reminded the nation that freedom is more powerful than fear and called on America to be strong now more than ever as they have always met challenges, be it natural disasters or terrorist attacks as a unified country.